In this activity, we're going to learn how to do quick and accurate estimations. So first off, how many craters do you think are present on this diagram of the dark side of the moon? Just take a guess without any attempt at actually counting. Looking at this diagram, how many spots do you think there are within that larger circle? I'll give you a hint. There are more than 10 and less than 10,000. Record your initial guess now. There are ways to estimate the number of spots on this larger circle without having to count each one individually. This process involves breaking up the area of interest into a number of similarly sized pieces, and then we can count the number of spots within a few of them. Randomly select about 10 of these squares and count the number of spots within the squares themselves. In this case, 10 squares are highlighted, and I do want to emphasize you should count the number within the black lines. The red lines are just there to indicate a random selection of squares. Once you have the number of craters in each of these individual squares, add up those numbers together, and then divide your total by 10 to figure out the average number of craters per square. Our next task is going to be to figure out how many squares total make up our area of interest. This grid pattern that we used was 12 by 12, so we know that there are 144 squares total. Instead of counting all the squares within the circle, we could count the squares outside of the circle and simply subtract that number from 144 to get an estimate of the number of squares that make up the circle. I would suggest trying to combine half squares, quarter squares, and three quarter squares into whole squares, but the remainder can be ignored. Now that you have the average number of craters per square and the total number of squares that make up this diagram of the moon, you can calculate the estimated number of craters on the dark side of the moon by multiplying those two numbers together. Was the answer that you calculated similar to the one you had guessed? Which would you have more confidence in as to being more accurate? That's all for this activity.